black is the color of my true love's hair. Welcome to Man Cuisine. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. So, how y'all doing, first of all? Um, I know they call me rogue, but for more reasons than one. Like this right here, pay no attention to that sticker. That's not what the, what's in there. My big Tabasco plant. It has babies all the time, and I don't really have anything to do with the actual peppers right now. Um, I do make pepper sauce every now and then, but I was like, let me just put them in the ground. I'm not going to dry them out or anything. I know it's winter, but whatever. So I put them in the ground and it's actually a whole bunch in here, but this is just like the first ones that I put in because every now and then I'll just throw some in the ground. Like, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. Um, yeah, I came home and this is what I found this morning. I did not see them yesterday because I didn't come on the porch. So they may have popped up yesterday for all I know. But that is literally one pepper. That has to be one pepper because it's all in one spot right there. Uh, yeah, so basically that's another, <laughs> another time that I'm going rogue because I'm doing everything that I'm not supposed to do. And it's coming up. And look. There go my new plant that I just put down. That's one of my aloe veras. Okay. And I also, let me see if you can tap, tap, tap in. Tap. There we go. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Can y'all see the germination that is happening? Look, look at that green. Look at that little green. Where's my other one? I planted some purple basil. Uh, some seeds that I wanted to germinate. Can y'all see the purple? It's a little hard, but like right up in there. You see a little purple? A little razzle dazzle on them. Let me tap, tap, tap in one more time. Tap, tap, tap in. You can see some green right there that's eventually going to turn purple. Ow. Like I did that. Can y'all see that right there? Can y'all see that? Can, can, you can see it. You see it. It is coming up. Yes, it is cold outside out here. Yes, I know I'm not supposed to be doing this. I will give you all an update. There we go. You can see it much better like this. And look, look, look. Your girl did that. I did that. I did that. Um. Yeah, you can see some of them. Oh, oh there we go. There we go. But um, I moved them over, and oh look, even in my Tabasco plant, sorry, you can see some popping up out the ground. Look, if y'all even look here, let me tell you, I didn't even know there was something in this, okay? I actually went, I saw this rosemary, I was like, it still has some good roots in there. I was like, maybe I can, you know, I'm one of those planters where I'm like, I don't care if I got a stem, I got something, I can make it happen. Yeah, you see those? We're going to get rid of those. But, so I started watering it, right? I was like, you know, it goes through the dying process. The leaves fall off. It is what it is. I'm going to start watering it. So I started watering the sucker. And what popped up? Not rosemary, a doggone tomato plant, and basil in the same pot. Don't know how it got there. I have not been growing tomatoes. I have not been growing rosemary. I mean, I have not been growing uh, basil. Don't know how I got there, but it's there. So I just keep watering it and letting it grow and see what happens. These, um, this one right here and this one right here, they also have um, Tabasco peppers in there. And we're going to see how they come up. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, it takes a, a few months. Like, I think this, we're like a good month or two in and they have to, haven't popped up. That is, um, I want to say a good two months. I've been waiting for it to pop up. But still, if I don't have to do any extra work, but put them in the ground and let them pop up, keep watering it. I didn't even put, um, I didn't even do the greenhouse effect on it. I literally just watered it and let it do what it has to do. So I won't even have to harden these plants off because they grew up 
outside in the sun. That's all they know. So I don't have to actually do hardening for them. But um, when I actually decide to separate and repot them, you will get a video on that so that you can see their growth and see um, how far they have come. If you enjoyed this video from Main Cuisine, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Also, hit us up on all of our social media. Comment, let us know what you want to see from us because this channel is for you. Bye, cousins.